Good morning, Flickinger Elementary School. Ms. Minchin and I come to you live this morning uh, for official runoff Senate election results here today. Um, as I told you guys on Tuesday of last week, we had four classes <clears throat> that needed to do runoff elections to fill the final four seats of the Senate. Just to remind all of you, um, in the Senate, power rests with the political party that has the most seats. As we can see behind us right now, the Republicans in red have it by a two seat majority. So these final four seats will determine power here in the Senate. After the results are announced today, uh, Ms. Minchin and myself, Ms. Partington, we will be hosting a Senate meeting before the holiday break uh, so that the Senate can elect their leadership. Uh, we will also be hosting a uh, presidential, vice presidential uh, lunch to begin discussing the agenda when we come back in January. It is also in that time before the holidays that we will also be electing our final branch of government, the House of Representatives, which members of the fifth and sixth grade will be receiving information on that as early as tomorrow. So with that noted, let's get to some results. As we know, last Tuesday, Mr. DeMarty's class elected Nikki Lout, former clerk of the House of Representatives, a Republican seat. Um, yesterday, voters in DeMarty's class went to the polls to determine between two very powerful figures. One was Mr. Trevor Buck, uh, a former member of the House of Representatives, and the other, Miss Lydia Fernandez, also a former member of the House of Representatives. The vote is final. We have no tie, and I want to congratulate both candidates, but Lydia Fernandez will advance to the second seat in the Senate from Mr. DeMarty's class. This is a pickup for the Republican Party, and this almost guarantees that they will have majority here in the Senate, which is a change because last year the Democrats held control in the Senate. I'm going to shift now uh, to Ms. Gibbons' class. We know that Mr. Axel Austin was elected last Tuesday. He is a former senator. He is the only current member uh, to win his Senate seat back. He was reelected to the Senate. Yesterday, Ms. Gibbons' class had two complete fresh new names on the ballot. Neither one of these gentlemen had served in any branch of government last year. Um, and that was between Derek A and Cyrus A. Uh, the results are in, we have no tie. And this will be a pickup for the Democratic Party and a congratulations to Cyrus. Cyrus A will pick up his seat in the Senate. I congratulate both of those individuals for their efforts. Two classes left with two seats to go. We'll shift over to my homeroom, uh, Mr. Harwood's class. Um, this was uh, a pickup already of the Republican parties. We know last Tuesday, Michaela Martin picked up her seat in the Senate um, and running between two candidates, Ellery and Chase Hansen, were on the ballot uh, for the second seat here in the Senate. This will be a pickup for the Republican Party and a huge congratulations to Ellery. She will take the second seat in the Senate representing Mr. Harwood's class. Like before, I'd like to congratulate both of those contenders for their efforts. Our final seat in the runoff was the tightest of the ballots, Ms. Minchin's class. And we know last Tuesday, Allison Oliveira, the sister of Supreme Court Justice Violet Oliveira, already captured her seat in the Senate. But it became a runoff between not two people in her class, but three. And these three were vying for that second seat. Uh, Jacob Emerson, Caitlin Solomon, and Evan R. were battling it out to pick up this second seat. The results are in. We have no tie. And the Republican Party will pick up yet another seat here in the Senate, giving them full domination um, with a uh, total of seven seats uh, in their power. Five would have been majority with the vice presidential casting the tie vote. 
I want to congratulate Ms. Caitlin Solomon, sister of former Vice President Jacob Solomon and sister of former President and Senator Karen Solomon. She will pick up her second seat uh, in this mentions class and she will continue the family legacy of having leadership here in the government. I want to congratulate everybody on Ms. Minchin's ballot as well. I want to congratulate all members for making the attempt to capture the seats in the Senate. Our 10 elected senators will be notified of their meeting date and um, stay tuned because before the holidays we'll be electing our House of Representatives uh, which is our final group and bunch to get into the 2024 government, which will effectively start legislating as early as January. Have a great morning, everybody. Congratulations, guys.